Hello and welcome to Five a Day with Jay. I'm Jay. How are you? Thank you for joining me again. We'll probably go for 10 minutes again. And much like Chris Moody, hey, hey, Mr. Moody, how's it going? What's shaking? I'll probably end up renaming this 10 a Day with Jay because I ramble. It's fun to ramble. Uh, my intention had always been to keep this to five a day, five minutes. Five to ten minutes, we'll probably just keep the name just with the understanding that I'll do my best to keep the time down. At any rate, hey, how's it going? Busy day at work today. More of a coding day than a standard work day. Sometimes those days go better than others, but you know word count 700 words today we're up over 8,000 almost 8,300 words progress baby progress I was watching Scott Sigler last night and somebody asked him what his writing schedule was and he said he sits down around from 10 to 1 is his writing schedule I'm thinking hmm, yeah yeah if you're a professional writer you schedule your time. You schedule your work day. It just makes sense. Not a pro. Not a pro. This person is not a professional writer. I'm an amateur. Have I made money from my writing? A little. Probably somewhere close to $2,500 over the years. Not enough to write home about. Nothing to change my life. I'm hoping to change that. I'm hoping to get more books written and published and produced and actually get them out into people's hands and get people to read them, review them, and enjoy them. That's my goal. That's what I'm doing this writing stuff for. It's why I stopped the Murdoch Minute. Um, maybe I'll get back to it, maybe I won't. If I do, again, as I said before, it'll go up on TikTok. It's not going to go up on YouTube right now. I'll, I'll throw it up on TikTok. Uh, I did drop a really fun time lapse on TikTok. Go find me, J.R. Murdoch, J.R. Murdoch. My first name, my first name is an initial, J. Go find me. Go say hi. Go watch the time lapses I got up there. I uh, got a couple out there. They're fun. Uh, I'm going to keep on dropping time lapses every couple of days. I started doing time lapse Tuesday on YouTube. You know what? It's more, just, I'd rather just throw them up on TikTok. Um, TikTok, you do one minute videos, nothing spectacular, nothing special. Maybe somebody will enjoy it. I don't know. We'll see. I'm starting to add music to them. So that they're a little more interesting other than just staring at the screen for a minute and watching stars go by or watching clouds go by or watching birds flitter in and out of the tree. I really do want to keep doing the reviews though, but again, it eats into time that I should be writing. So that's why I'm putting it on hold. Again, I was, I'm happy I did it. I'm happy I tried it. I got it going. Got me in the habit of sitting down and writing regularly so that I can get content out. This, you know how this works. I sit down, I jibber-jabber for a few minutes and pop a video out. I still want to get better at doing my editing and working with video because it's interesting it's it fascinates me it's a hobby again i have lots of hobbies we talked about this yesterday lots of hobbies on top of that i still got video games that i want to get to playing and play those someday um working out every day doing all that stuff and trying to get everything in without overwhelming myself that's what i'm trying to do and of course i still want to have a life and so there's a still a house to maintain, you know, no one's like, someone's got to clean up after the dog, water the plants and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, a little bit of housework every day, a little bit of exercise every day, a little bit of, you know, pick a basic lunch every day, plays for 15, 20 minutes. Just, you know, it's just running scales and doing the pregios and all that other fun stuff. Um, I'm, I'm just trying to do a little bit. And of course, every night before I go to bed, I'm reading. What am I reading? Good question. Thank you for asking. I appreciate you asking. I'm over halfway through Bruce Springsteen's Born to Run autobiography. I had 
several chapters meander across decades and then pull you back into the where he's telling the story and then he wanders off again other chapters are very to the point boom awesome gotcha uh, i'm reading another one i need to look at it um the book is called crazy k-r-a-z-y crazy cat and i think i need to look at my tablet but anyway crazy cat was a cartoon written by a black artist way back in the day when i say way back i mean we're talking he started doing his comics back in the not the crazy cat but he started doing comics and cartoons for newspapers back in the late 1800s crazy cat was way early on i just thought it would be fascinating to read about how this artist got his start and what he had to go through and what he had to deal with to get his art out it's it's fascinating stories absolutely fascinating stories in the book about what the gentleman had to deal with from his family from his friends and from the general public just to get his work produced i i find it really interesting and then of course uh, i think i mentioned this the other day i'm also reading brandon sanderson's words i can do them brandon sanderson's the stormlight archive uh, the Way of the King, first book, decided to jump into that one. You know, why not? Because I need a bigger book to read. Um, I, I'm interested, not invested yet, but again, I'm only, like I'm only 50 pages in to a thousand page novel, so I didn't expect to get in there. I mean, there was a prologue, there was a prologue to the prologue, and I think I'm only on chapter three or four um there's a lot of preamble that was leading into it and it, each chapter skips way forward into in time uh between chapter one and two i think there was a five you know five years later type of thing which uh, okay you know, let's let's move along if you've read any of my books which i wish you had if you haven't Email me, email me, j j a y at of gnomesanddwarves dot com. Send me an email. I will send you one of my ebooks. No, no strings. Just you want to read a book, I'll send it to you. Let me know what you want to read. It's on its way. At any rate, um, not really invested. And it's if you've read any of my books, my books take place over very abbreviated time frames. Some of my books, like Jack Kane that I wrote with Mike Plusted, takes place over a twenty-four hour period. Very short time frame for a book. The whole span of the book is twenty-four hours. That was deliberate. We planned it that way. Most of the v uh, the first VNA shipping book takes place over a couple of days. Um, yes, one character starts. No spoiler, but. One of the main characters starts in present day and jumps forward thousands of years into the future. Hey, yes, some of my books do jump around in time. Other than those, um, you know, just there's a very limited time frame they take place in. That's all depends on what I'm trying to achieve with the book. Really, um, I enjoy writing books that a lot happens over a short period of time. I like to build every little thing that the characters are doing. To me, that's enjoyable. I have fun doing that. I have fun writing that. I understand other authors, they love to spread things out, like Brandon Sanderson apparently likes to really spread things out. There's nothing, there, there's no right or wrong way to tell a story. Tell a story. Someone's going to find it and enjoy it. That's what I've always felt, and that's what I've tried to do. Tell a good story, throw it out there, let everyone else figure it out. If they enjoy it, they enjoy it. If they don't, they don't. One thing I will say is that if you're a writer, writers tend to be more critical of other writers than they are themselves. I'm probably more critical, well, actually more writers are more critical of themselves, but they're actually more critical of other writers than they, that they might know than they are of writers who they don't know or that have a fan base. I'm not looking for feedback. I'm not looking for criticism. Yes, if you 
enjoyed the book, I would love to hear that. If you've got criticism and feedback and, oh, you could make it better by doing this. I've had a lot of readers that absolutely love the book, as it is. So odds are I'm not going to change many of my books for anybody coming to me with saying, hey, you should change this, that, or the other thing. I've written long enough to know that what I enjoy writing. If, if there's a plot hole, that's something I would love to hear about. If it's something about, oh, the way you wrote this character, da 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 no, don't, don't care. Um, if you want to review my books and you're a writer, by all means. Uh, I've had writers review my books before, and again, they're harsh. They don't enjoy my books. Writers, for some reason, don't like what I write. Fine. Go find something else to read. There's thousands and thousands of books produced every month. No harm in going and finding something else. The readers that have read my book really enjoy my book. Um, that's all I can say, and I'm I'm happy with that. I'm proud of that. Anyway, I'm getting to the rambling stage, probably because I'm tired and I need to get to bed. So, I will say thank you for joining me. Been five a day, five a day, ten a day, a little more than ten. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you tomorrow. Until next time, stay awesome.